long, I have sailed. I have moved about this world of ours, and ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the tops in spine chillers. <laughs> The Creaking Door. The manufacturers of State Express 3-5 Silter King cigarettes take pleasure in presenting The Creaking Door. the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. I could have understood it. That cop, Inspector Sharp, he's watching you. Huh? Oh, the rat. Don't he show any respect on a day like this? It's coming over. Hello, Red. Hello, Carla. Uh-huh. Hello, Inspector Sharp. Happy now? Happy? Which was a good friend of mine. Carl Alfred is your biggest enemy, and you know it. Oh, what a thing to say. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. It's a lie. I never done it. I was frank. Oh, I know he's dead. It's natural. Dr. Moore says so, and everything he says is true. That's right. He signed the death certificate. Yeah, you've got no grounds for suspicion. Unfortunately, no. You're around, Reed. And you, Carla. I'm off now. The obsequies is over. Obsequies? Yes, the funeral rites. Mm. Don't be so suspicious, Red. I know. Not that I wish that on any man. 
I can't say that opportunity will be missed. No, Red, nobody could say that. Besides, so think of the things he controls, eh? All the best records, gambling machines, the racetrack bookies, protection and cups. Yeah, they do say a little spot of drag running. He got too big for his boots, he did. Yeah, and all the mobsters in the city will be running around like dogs looking for the master. They can't. Imagine if I was your master. <laughs> That'd be the most, Red, but you ain't. That's right, but I could be. I'd be governor of the whole scene. Carla, you used to know Butch Will, didn't you? Yeah, I knew him since we were kids. Tell me, who would be second in the gang? I mean, after Butch. Black called Tintish Jack. Tough in a fight. Huh? He is, is he? <laughs> I wonder. Snooker, Red. Yeah, Charlie, and you ain't the only one either. You mean the old Butch Hennessy mob? Yeah, it could be, boy. Now, look, Butch died from natural causes. Quintus Jack was shot by an unknown assailant. Who runs that mob now, eh? No, I'd rather play this game, Red. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, we don't keep racketeering up forever, boy. That's the mistake people make. They don't know when they've had enough. I see it. Clean up in a year or two. There's the Bahamas, somewhere like that. Ah, what do you say? Great. Nobody ever quits the rations. Never. Everybody knows too much. No, they don't quit. Unless they go the way Butch Hennessy went. Or Kentish Jack come for that. Well, the way I... Oh, that's the signal. Must be the cops. They're on their way. Yeah. But don't worry, boy. They can be on their way. They got nothing on me. Uh, morning, boys. Uh, hello, Inspector. Curtis Jack was killed last night, Red. So I see from the paper. Well, you didn't have anything to do with it, did you? Perhaps. Well, whatever can you mean, Inspector? Well, we got no motive. Only his rackets, eh, Red? <laughs> Red, you started something I'm going to finish. I won't have violence in the city. I'm a peace-loving man, Inspector. You got me all wrong, honest you have, Mr. Sharp. Red, you'll end up in jail for life or face downwards in a gutter. And I'll laugh, believe me. Understand this, Red. Break the peace of the city and you'll be destroyed. <laughs> That's a threat, Inspector. I don't have to threaten a rat like you. Your own kind will destroy you. Red, did you know that Butch Hennessy left a lot of money? No. Besides, I wouldn't touch that kind of money. Maybe you wouldn't. Or couldn't. But somebody has. There wasn't a penny in his safe deposit box. Been cleaned out. I'd nothing to do with it. Over 50,000 quid. Gone with the wind. 50,000 quid. Oh, fancy that. Eh? That's right. And the old underworld will be looking for it. Hard cash, Red. And I've heard that Butch isn't sleeping so soundly about it. Huh? What do you mean? They tell me that his ghost has been seen. That's all, Red. Carla, I tell you, I don't feel safe. Even in my own flat. It's all nonsense, Red. There's no such thing as ghosts. Everybody knows that. I don't know it. 
Have another drink, Red. Right, yes, I will. Look, when I was in Carmore Jail, there was a ghostly cell. The door used to swing open when there was nobody there. You couldn't lock it or nothing. Yeah, I believe in ghosts, all right. Yeah, but not ghosts of blokes like Butch Hennessy. I do, I tell you. If there's ghosts of old geezers with their heads cut off, why not of a smart boy like Butch? Well, what would he be looking for, Red? <clears throat> so, uh, revenge, that's what. Revenge for the death of Kentish Jack Carla. Now, look, they say all his money's gone. Where? That's what I want to know. Who's got it? Is it a lot, Red? Well, that copper shop says it's 50,000 quid. Any mob would go after that kind of money. But where would that much money vanish to? That's what I want to find out. Starting with our late friend Kentish Jack. Look, I'm a fair cracksman. I'll take Charlie and we'll do Jack safe. Oh, I'll bet there's nothing there. Yeah, well, there may be some kind of clue. We'll try it anyhow. Jack's place is up at the top of our high building. I bet nobody's took it over yet. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We climb the fire escape and then... Signed a certificate. That's right. And what I want to know is this. Who was in that coffin I saw buried the other day? And there's only one way to find that out. Uh, you mean, uh, uh, have a look? Yes, that's just what I mean. We'll have to dig up that coffin tomorrow night. Now, let's get out of here before we get pinched. <laughs> I don't like it, Red. Uh, that was a lovely shot, Charlie. No, I don't mean that. I mean, well, well, digging up that corpse. It's a bad thing to do, disturbing corpses. Yeah, any better suggestions? No, I suppose not. Then play a shot like a good little boy and leave the thinking to me, will you? No, I don't feel like playing, Red. Oh, go on. Do you think I like waiting the whole day? I'm scared, I tell yeah, you. Well, I'm scared too. I don't like goats and never did. I need to get hold of the rackets, and nothing's going to stop me, human or inhuman. Well, you're the boss. Because I think that's why. Which is alive, get it? He's no ghost. Then why pretend he's dead? Look, you said a true word the other day, Charlie. You said villains like us never leave the rackets because nobody will let them. And suppose Butch Hennessy wants to be the first man to walk out. 
You've got Ed on you, Red. Say, Butch pretended he was dead. That way, he'd be in the clear. Yeah, well, then who was in the coffin you saw buried? The money, Charlie. Uh, the lovely money we want to get our hands on. News in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3 today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders. And the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3 5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth Fate Express 3 5 today. But it's that copper sharp. Yeah, well, what's in now? Ah, lovely shot, Charlie. Morning, boys. Uh, hello, Inspector. Why, if it isn't Mr. Sharp, eh? Someone broke into a safe last night. I thought you'd like to know. Well, I never. The things people do for a few quid. The robbers were armed and fired a gun at somebody. That's or it. something. That's a serious charge, that is. Isn't it, Inspector? You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? Me? Me? I was home all evening. Oh, wasn't I, Charlie? Oh, yes, we was at home. Anybody hurt, Mr. Sharp? Not this time. But I don't like guns and I don't like safe breakers. And I didn't tell you that both you boys are in serious trouble. Mr. Sharp, we can't be in much more trouble, can we? Ask Butch Hennessy. He ought to know. No, he's dead, Mr. Sharp. Yeah. Do you believe in ghosts, Charlie? Uh, oh, that's for kids, Inspector. Well, the whisper's gone around that Butch has come back from the dead. And then you fellas don't believe in ghosts, do you? So, uh, that's all right. Oh, well, you don't believe in ghosts, do you, Mr. Sharp? I don't know, Charlie. I don't know. I didn't. Once. Enjoy your game. Oh, well, he's gone fast enough. Yeah. But you've got to use your head in this racket. The point is, why did he come here? What's he after? Us. He'd give good money to put us in jail. Uh, well, I'll tell you what I think. He came here to rack us. Act as if nothing happened. Look, I'm going to see Carla, and we'll meet tonight. Okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I wish it was all over, Red. I'd rather face a squad of cops than that graveyard tonight. How's the girl? All right, Red. Like a drink? Uh, yeah. Thanks, kid. <coughs> Anyone been along? Not a soul. Sit down and relax. <coughs> yeah, I thought that some of them nosy coppers might have been along. That Inspector Sharp, somebody like that. No one, Red. You're just jumpy. I keep thinking of Butch Hennessy. I see him on the street everywhere. Then you turn round and he isn't there. Here's your drink, Red. Hmm? How that? did you see Butch? We saw him buried. I'm not so sure. That's the end of him. Look, you're safe up here in this block of flats. If you lock the kitchen door, no one can get in by the fire escape. That leaves the front door, and if you put the chain on it... Oh, you have got it bad. Oh, no one will come in here, silly. Yeah? Well, maybe, but better safe than sorry. There. You see, if Butch is alive, he might come after you. Yeah, I suppose you're right, but I... What's that? A cat. The wind, anything. Yeah. That noise came from the bedroom. Nobody could be in there. Nobody. Of course not. 
It's Butch. He's in the bedroom. Oh, that's nonsense. Yeah? Well, I'm going to see. See? There's nobody there. Yeah? Well, he must be hiding. Come out of there. Well, why don't you look under the bed? Look, I'm sorry, Carla. I'm jumpy, that's all. If I could have sworn it. Look. Didn't you hear a laugh? No, of course not. I thought I heard a bump. Yeah, well, well, let's go back to the living room. Okay, Red. I see Butch everywhere. Well, I don't see him. I hear him. If he ain't a ghost, he's mighty like one. Well, I didn't hear anything anyway. Look, lad, I'm going to settle this one way or the other tonight. Charlie's coming with me, and we'll dig up Butch's grave. I reckon the money's there. The money? Yeah. Look, Carla... I'm going to spend all the day well out of Ennessy's way, see? There's something you can do for me. Oh, anything at all, Red, you know that. Take this gun and ditch it. The clip, ammunition and everything. It's the gun I used to kill Kentish Jack. And it's too hard to carry, understand? Whatever you say, Red. Good. I've got a sort of feeling that something's going to happen. I'll get picked up or something. So drop it in the river. Sure, Red. I'll put the gun where no one will ever find it. Where will you spend the day? Where no one will ever find me, kid. That art gallery. So long, love. So long, dreamboat. Butch. Butch? Come out now, he's gone. Thanks, Carla. Oh, was a bit clumped in that wardrobe. Well, he had to make a noise, and that was the only way. I didn't expect him today. If he had found me, it would have meant a showdown here. <laughs> you make a lousy ghost. Oh, I don't know. A groan and crackle very convincingly, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> that poor boy, oh, he doesn't know if I'm dead or alive. You've been seen too much, Butch. Butch Hennessy's a chap people don't forget in a hurry. I've still got her fixed up, Carla. I'm dead. We pick up that money from the graveyard and scram the both of us. Just you and me. Sure. Leave these boys to look for the ghost. Ah, <sighs> quit the rackets. Come with me overseas. A new life is waiting for us. I'll invest in legitimate business, okay? Sounds wonderful. Butch, why aren't the money in your coffin in the first place? Don't make sense. Don't you see? It's in cash. Small notes, negotiable currency. Every racketeer in the place was after it. I had to hide it somewhere. Remember what happened to poor Kentish Jack, Steve? Mm, that's right. Did you square Dr. Moles? Sure, he signed the death certificate for money. Morley, the undertaker, too, he worked for money. You know, Carla, I've been seen around, but people think I'm a ghost. I'm the first man to break clean as a house tooth with the rackets. You make it sound wonderful, Butch. I hope it stays that way. I swear it will. Everything's fixed. All we have to do is go to the grave and dig up that coffin. Well, you better be fast, Irish, because Red's got the same idea. <laughs> Has he now? I wonder what I'd do without you, baby. This is the place, Reed. Uh, sure. Uh, understand what we do? We get in that graveyard and start digging. Yeah, I'm with you, Reed. The dough's there for certain. All right. That's it. Uh, are you sure, Reed? Yeah, certain. I saw him buried there, didn't I? At least I saw something buried there in his grave. Besides, look at the earth. It's just been turned over. Yeah, that's right. It's all loose. Let's start digging. Now, come on, put your back into it. Yeah, well, I am trying, mate. What was that? It was an owl, Red, that's all. Yeah. Well, I don't like owls. I don't like this place. I don't like any of it. It smells wrong to me somewhere. What do you mean, Red? I don't know. Something creepy there. There's something wrong. Yeah. This earth shovels too easy. Yeah, well, we'll soon know one way or the other. That's the coffee leaf. Come on, let's dig it out. There. I reckon that'll do it. 
Yeah. Right. I'll take a spade and leave off the lid. There's a fortune in this for us. There. That's done it. Ah, let's see. Ah, ah. What is it, Reed? Take a look. It's Butch Hennessy's corpse. Who's that? Carla. She shot him. The money. Oh, we shouldn't have come. I told you the whole thing's crazy. Carla? What are you? What have you done with the money? The money? It ain't there. Not a cent. Carla, I'll get you oh, if it's the I last thing I... Uh, 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 uh,